1, 2, 3, let's do it! They've been waiting for a second chance. Waiting for their country to need them again. That time is meow. What do you guys give me if I kill that bird? Farber, that's a bald eagle. Get a wig, baldy! Yeah! Guys, what do I win? A one-way ticket to hell. Best behavior, boys. Not our idea of a good time either, fellas. Personally, I'd rather fuck a moose. You would need a ladder to do that. Wow. Let's give a big Canadian welcome to the Vermont Highway Patrol. Come on, guys. They've come up here to tell us how great it's going to be for all of us to become Americans. Repeat after me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Learn the words. Can I run the law, motherfuckers? <laughs> That was good. See, the, <laughs> the problem with this one is I laughed quite a bit, but I'm going to forget many of the lines. Many will be well, forgotten. Um, yeah, so, so this is going to make for quite a confusing podcast. So uh, what we saw was Super Troopers 2. What we saw was <laughs> Super Troopers 2. That was for our French you listeners. You have uh, pancake. <laughs> <laughs> The uh, <laughs> film takes place in a French province of Canada. Where is the French part of Canada? Uh, Quebec. I, I guess it's by Vermont. I would have never guessed. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I would have guessed more Western. But hey, <laughs> I'm an idiot. I don't know if uh, that's uh, geographically You dumb correct. American, you tell me you know where I live. <laughs> The boys got their jobs back and they're headed up to sunny, cold-ass Canada. Yeah. Well, what can I say? It's snowing right now. My car is encased in yeah. a, a sheet of snow and yeah. ice. And it's only April 19th. The boys are up in Canada, <laughs> apparently. They fucked up the border and we're getting a bunch of Canada. And now the boys gotta go and, you know, have some sh chicaneries and shenanigans. <laughs> And that they do. Yes, yes. What do you think? Um, I'll be honest. I absolutely love this. Movie. Yeah, me too. I this see it did just the right amount of callbacks and sort of similar story, but new stuff. Was, you know what I mean? I Kept just it gonna, fresh. I'm finally gonna... a good fucking comedy in theaters, man. Aside from the death of Stalin and I, Tanya, which incidentally we'll be coming back to. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, this is this is incredible, and, and what you um, <clears throat> just said. There's there's just enough fan service. The whole movie is not fan service. There's a lot of new stuff, loads of new characters. Yeah, and it's got all the gang that you love. I am and... perfectly content that it's basically the exact same plot. Yeah, it's it's almost the exact same plot, but it's <laughs> in Canada. It's, it's like Ghostbusters <laughs> too. Yeah. But in Canada instead of New York again. Yeah, and um, man, I'll tell you, I, I just I loved this movie. It I was really great. Did. And, it was uh, easily the best, one of the best straight comedies I've seen and, in a really um, long time. Yeah, and man, the theater was alive. People were laughing. It was a good experience. It's just man, this this was fantastic. And you know, I um, I got to give credit to the people who helped fund the movie on Indiegogo. You know, it was like years ago. Um, they could not get any funding at all for this movie. Let's see, that's what's surprising me. And um, it was funded super quick. And basically, they, they had a deal with Fox Searchlight, which was if they raised the money, they would give them a wide release. And I got to give credit to Fox Searchlight. They're giving the movie a wide release. And, you know, it's that's, up to people to show right up. That's decision. You know? I feel like people are going to come. Oh, this is... Because this is a comedy oh, that's funny. It, it is, wasn't like super highbrow or smart. It was fucking oh, no. stupid, it's but lowbrow. it was fucking hilarious, yeah, man. It is It is bottom it of the barrel. jokes. Yeah, it's, it's bottom of the barrel humor. You know, it's gallows humor. Just it's, it's really, you know, lowest common denominator. But it is fucking hilarious. Would you let me drive? <laughs> and um, the chemistry of these guys, obviously they've been making movies for it's a long just, time. It's the perfect oh. combo. I keep going to keep saying that. The perfect combo of goofy and silly and stupid and just oh, random yeah. all rolled up into one. Oh, it is... And the thing is, I had no idea, like, what they were actually going to do for the movie. I, got, just, I was kind of worried. Yeah. I, I thought it was going to be, like, The Hangover 2. 
Like, they're going to just go super dark because that would be funny to them. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean... You guys waited so long for this, we're going to give you this shithead, this right. shithole. Yeah, I mean... It, had a, it did have quite a few things that were in other movies. Do you remember any, by any chance? Uh, there was a few that I noticed. It's not crazy, it's not going to piss you off, but it's, they were there. Yeah, for I, sure. I can't remember right now, I'm sure you'll jog my memory later. <sighs> Hopefully uh, at some point I'll remember. But there was a couple moments where it was like, that was in another movie. Okay, alright. I mean, uh, I, I'll be honest with you, like, this... I, I can't neckpack this movie at all. It was just such a beautiful, enjoyable experience for me. Um, I, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I just... The, everyone totally knew what movie they were in. Everyone... Like, nobody's phoning it in. Everyone's so excited. And the movie looks great, Did too. Did you know somebody won... At least one of the cast members was better than he was in the first. The, um... Brian Cox. Brian Cox. Yeah. yeah. Who plays the, uh, the main sheriff. Yeah. He played it super straight in the first one. This one, he was off the wall. Yeah, well, I mean, he, he probably, he pro well, he had probably had no idea who the Broken Lizard guys were at yeah. that point, because they had done one movie, but it was, uh, I don't even think it was released in theaters. I, I've never, still never seen it, Puddle Cruiser. I never saw it. I've never seen it. Either. Yeah. Um, never even heard of it, honestly. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is, if, I mean, if you loved the first one, You're gonna love you this. are going to fucking love this. And I will so tell people. If you've never seen Super Troopers 1, make sure you see Super Troopers 1 before this. Yeah. Because it is... I mean, it's not vital, but it definitely no, will be it, a good idea. It will definitely know? enhance the experience, for sure. Because um, I decided to rewatch Super Troopers 1 yesterday. And that almost made me nor more nervous because I absolutely loved it. I hadn't seen it in years. And I got my DVD, and I was laughing again at, at the lines, and it, it, I had a warm feeling, you know, that this is a case of... Well, th I was just about to get into that. You know, it's good nostalgia. There was no you know? moments where you were like, all right, keep it moving, let's go. Oh, this flew by for yeah. me. It fucking flew. Same with the first one. There was no moment where I'm like, all right, get it, let's get this scene over with, let's right. get this joke, all right, this joke has run its course. <laughs> this movie is... <laughs> It's really good, really funny. Yeah. The first one, really good, really funny. Just, I like their sort of brand of humor. It's very goofy and silly. Oh, and it's, it's stupid. It's, at it's the same absolutely time. crazy. And uh, you know, it they really took their time with this script. Like, you know, all these guys write together, and this script must have been just crazy with all the ideas that they threw. Yeah. And they really one, edited the movie. One well. idea is is that uh, Ram. What was Ram? Ram Ron. Oh. <laughs> Ramathorn takes female, female wet, get wet pills. What, what? Female hormones. Female hormones to make it more wet. <laughs> he, um, leaks milk. <laughs> he lactates, folks. Yeah. Yeah, um, Jay, um, Jay, I can, never, I can never say his name. Whatever, right. however <laughs> you say it. You know what we're talking about. The he's, only Indian guy in the movie it's who funny. directed it. He's honestly the most, like, held back. Of everybody in the movie, like he's he's playing it kind of straight, you know. He's you yeah. know there are funny moments, but that makes it so that just makes it so good because these guys, man, they fucking go Enhanced. off in this movie. Enhanced. Yeah, they which, brought back a couple jokes. Oh which, yeah, the, it the wasn't Runner like joke, uh, yeah. come on, you guys can't get a better joke. It, it they, was good. It was I, funny. I, I was shocked. It. They fit that in perfectly. Enhanced. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, man. The opening of this See, movie, <laughs> which was... I don't want to spoil at all, yeah. is I was like, "Holy shit!" Did you think it was? <laughs> did you think it was what it was? I I thought it was for a while, and then something happens, yeah. and I was like, oh, "Okay, well, <laughs> you know." I but... was I was pretty sure it was a, <laughs> a facade, a farce. Let's say. I'll tell you, man. This. The opening, man, right away, fucking has you. It just it grabs you. Very effective. Oh man. And uh, there are cameos in this movie. There was people that are in it that, like, I had no idea were going to be in it. And uh, they were they were great. Um, yeah, Rob Lowe, I would say. You know, I won't say what well, he is. Well, it wasn't a cameo. Movie. It was, he was a... Well, that's the thing is I thought he was going to be a cameo. Okay. He's actually a major He's part a, of the movie. Yeah. And um, he, he plays a mayor of the Canadian counties. And, uh, yeah, he was He's the only one who's not fantastic. French for some reason. Everybody, every other one of the... Canadians well, he's, was he's... French. Spoke with a French accent. I he did. Say. It was slipping, though. 
You didn't hear his, him doing a French accent? He was, I thought he was just doing a straight Canadian accent. Yeah, he, he's... I mean, I'm sure he was slipping in and out of okay. it, but... Yeah, it's a good you know, movie. I, I, really, I really enjoyed Rob Lowe in this movie. Yeah, he's I, good. I'm not a big Rob Lowe fan, but he, he was really good in it. He his reminded me a little bit ridiculous. of his character from Parks and Canadian Parks and Rec. Right, yeah. yeah he but was he was definitely Parks better than that. Yeah. He was definitely better than that. I'll give him that. Um, so, yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of things. Will Sasso was great in this. Yes, Will Sasso. If he wasn't in this, uh, I would have hated the Canadi- the French-Canadian idea. Really? Because well, his, he, his he, accent was, like, perfect. Oh, it was there. spot on. It was fucking spot on. Uh, what do you say to <laughs> Americans? <laughs> Yeah, and he didn't um, <laughs> say that, but he said it much better. Yeah, so he said. so obviously they they know. Massive recommendation here. Yeah. Uh, definitely go see this. <laughs> go see it in the theater. Go unless, see it with unless people. Unless you're man. one of these pricks who gets offended by comedy of any kind, yeah, don't well, see it. Right? Why? Well, then why are you going to see Super Troopers? <laughs> I don't know. Well, this movie just made me think about this. Like, we had a good crowd. Nobody was like sighing. There's no, no groans. Nobody was like, oh, how dare they? Well, maybe like one you know? gross out thing. Somebody was like, <gasps> well, there, there was a couple gross out moments where I was like, oh shit. Yeah, you know, something but, like that. You know, it's it's it's. Gag. See, that's what I was thinking. Like, the one thing about comedy is like. People who are into comedies, like, nothing is offensive. You just go in there, and as long as it's funny, it's funny. Yeah, exactly. Huge recommendation. You don't be afraid to don't yeah. be afraid to laugh. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, uh, just fantastic. Um, and watch so. the first one, too. Yeah, make sure ma- Yeah, make sure you watch the first one. It's before not it. vital, but, you know, it'll it's, definitely be a good idea because it's a good movie, and there's some sort of link ups yeah you know? and honestly it's pretty cool i noticed that actually some of the theaters are doing double features they're they're doing a double feature with um uh, super troopers one and two yeah not this um, one i actually think the later showing is a double feature because oh, yeah. because it, it said df on it <clears throat> i wish that they told i don't think they would have accepted movie pass yeah but we do pay for one and then just movie pass the other one i'd rather see the first one on a big screen than on my fucking bed you know what yeah, i mean yeah no I mean, I, I I did watch the first one on DVD, and I was like, shit, man, I wish this was a Blu-ray. But uh, it didn't look great, but it didn't. It wasn't terrible. No, You're not gonna not want to no, watch the, the movie. No, the DVD was fine, but um, yeah. So we'll uh, we'll go into the spoiler section, but like I said, definitely go out and support this. I I really hope these guys fucking get to make more movies. Yes, yeah, I was gonna I, s- I was gonna say that I really that I've all the movies of theirs that I've seen, I've really enjoyed or just at least appreciate it even if they have it hasn't completely worked they're still enough to appreciate there at least you're gonna laugh a couple times right yeah absolutely so uh we'll we'll go into the spoiler section now um yeah man uh i was so fucking happy when this movie started and you see sean william scott i was just like oh man i was i was fucking sean william scott yes i was worried Really? I was a little worried. I was like, oh, oh shit, they're not going to be cops, <laughs> and it's going to be the Sean William Scott and, uh, what's his name show? Williams Ashton Kutcher? Third. It would have been interesting if Ashton Kutcher was, um, the other cop, like a total nod. Why Ashton? Because uh, where's my car? Oh, yeah. I was going to say, that been they interesting. Could, yeah, that would have been okay. Yeah. It was the son of the Wayans, whichever one is hot. Yeah, now. He, he was in Let's Be Cops, so I was, ca- yeah. I almost thought, I was like, oh, it would have been funnier if they had, um, they so have a lot of random Scott. movie references. See, the problem with this one is I was laughing so much and I wasn't... <laughs> Missed a few things. I'm not going to remember much of anything. I wrote well, down a couple that's, things, I, that's I, I should have said this earlier, but man, I cannot wait to rewatch this movie. Yeah. Like this, this is just like the first one. This is going to be an immensely rewatchable movie. Let's uh, go with the... Let's first, the biggest. The biggest spoiler of all. Sean. The appearance oh, of Sean. Sean as the French I version of Farva. I could not hold it back. I immediately pointed at the just screen. Seeing him, I was just like, seeing him again. fuck yeah, man. And this man, time he's French. Sean. This time he's a French Canadian. <laughs> Sean <laughs> from I, Tanya makes an appearance. Yeah. He's the oh, French Canadian version of Farva, <laughs> essentially. And of course they meet in the climax of the film. Right. <laughs> well, what I see is the climax of the film. <laughs> Because honestly, that you could have ended it there for me. And oh I man, it was—it's it, like uh, the time cop with two Rudger Hauer's meeting. <laughs> he just—he comes, 
Sean comes in a room. He's in it briefly. His is definitely a cameo. Oh, yeah, and he's great. He comes in briefly, and he just has oh. some stupid pun. Oh, yeah. fuck. I, I can't, I can't remember, remember but it was beautiful. It was all good. I mean, it's with her. Oh, I will, if I take you oh, out tonight, what, what, I will also fuck you in the ass. What was the name of the creamer he kept bringing up? He's like, you want the... You want cream the zucchini? fish? You want cream fish? It was, that was a nod to a joke to the first one. Yeah. No cream fish? Okay. No cream fish? Cream fish? No. Yeah, and uh, they bring back Liter of Cola. Which <laughs> you guys have that? <laughs> which was absolutely great. <laughs> I want my punch card. You get me those 10 liters of cola, you give me my punch card. <laughs> do it. Do it now. Do it now. <laughs> Just do it, man. And, um, oh man, yeah, Farva is fantastic in this movie. The, Farva uh, was... They didn't he try so to isolate. Point. They didn't try to alienate him oh, as much in this one. Yeah, he was absolutely. more part of it, which was good. I was a little worried when they were saying him about putting him back on the radio. I was yeah. like, oh shit! But no, he's with the whole gang. It wasn't. And, it uh, was unlike the first one in that respect. There's no, absolutely. except for a couple times. There's no real moments where they're on the road. It's more no. chicanery. Yeah, and that's where he gets his liter liters ten liters of cola <laughs> at a place called Chicaneries. You know, but place with a bunch of goofy shit on the walls. I love that. And as soon as they walk in, oh, this, this place ain't fucking nothing on shenanigans. <laughs> I didn't realize it. I didn't see the guy's shirt until the next the next cut. And I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> Chicaneries. That's goofy. Yeah, and uh, obviously they, they do bring back the, um, uh, the reference to Meow. Jim Gaffigan comes back. Which By was the way, fantastic. He looks, did they? Why did they paint his hair? If he's got gray I, I hair, I think he's on a sitcom, be... and he so he needed his hair to be okay. whatever. Yeah, so. he just looked bad. Just what well, I'm saying. Well, I mean, saying. Jim Gaffigan's always looked bad, man. I mean, Compared to how he looked before, <laughs> it's been over 15 years, so you know. But um, yeah, I love Jim Gaffigan, and he he's great. I do think they, they do extend the scene once more, and I think they could have done without that. Mm. The first introduction of it's perfect, and then he steals his car, and I was like, you know, this is funny, but it was a little unnecessary to go back <laughs> to it. But um, yeah, yeah, like I said, the callbacks, they're perfect. They know the movie has become a cult film. Danny and DeVito, he is in Sunny and Philly. That was like is. when that—that that was the only scene that didn't entirely work for me. I, was I just like, liked his accent. And I liked was, the way he would say it. <laughs> it was so funny because I was like, "Wow, it's like they the know other our two brains." The Canadians were duds. <laughs> yeah, I know. And then he brought up Batman Returns. <laughs> yeah, I was like, "The wow. Penguin from Batman Returns." <laughs> I was like, "Wow, man, these guys know exactly what we're Except thinking about." Except for Will Sasso, I kind of disliked the other two though. I uh, they didn't really. I didn't dislike him, but they didn't really bring anything to the table. Is what I I'm thought. Saying. I thought one of the guys who plays played by uh, uh, the other Taylor French one Levine. or the more Canadian one. No, actually, both of those guys are all. All three of them are all American. Yeah, They're I know, but Canadian. the way that they were talking. Yeah, the the one with the big beard. Uh, okay. He uh, he he was funny. I enjoyed him. He was in uh, Tucker and Dale versus Evil. I never saw it yet. And uh, yeah, he. <laughs> The Mounties, I really enjoyed them. And, uh, yeah, it's, I mean, like I said, I just, I was so happy. I had a smile on my face, laughing constantly. A lot of one-liners, too. Oh, yeah, absolutely. There's a fucking bear in there. Is that a euphemism? <laughs> yeah, and I love that they brought up, um, because there's, they put shaving cream on, uh, <laughs> I can't remember his name. His Foster. Yeah, on Foster's Bananas nuts. Bananas Foster. Which is a callback to um, the uh, the first movie uh, when he gets all the shaving cream in the locker. Oh yeah! But I forgot about that. But That's he, super funny. But here's one of the deep cuts of that. <laughs> yeah. Is that he says, "I think it's menthol. It's burning." When in the first one. In the first one, they sprayed him with shaving cream, and one of the cans was menthol. So he was like, "Oh, okay. he was in so complete it's like pain." An inside thing. In real okay. life, like yeah. they made a mistake, and he was like in horrific pain yeah. during that scene. So it was, uh, it was a really nice callback. I'm gonna have a shower. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, and uh, the whole. I think I'll have a shower. <laughs> the whole bit with Farva. About chopping his fucking pinky off, pinky toe off with his shovel when he first brings it up. He's just like, you're like, whoa, what the fuck? His pun game was strong <laughs> yeah. in this one. And I should have, I should have mentioned in the section before, but stay through the credits. 
stay through the whole entire credits. There's a nice little yeah. Uh, there's an extra. Scene. There's a nice little stinger. There's great outtakes throughout. Um, Jackie Chan style outtakes, yeah, which which are really enjoyable. You always have to say that when you bring up outtakes, okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, that guy does his own stunts. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, that that is, that, yeah. that ties right See? in to See what I'm fucking. Doing here? Uh, uh, the um, subliminal. <laughs> what, what was this? The Fred Savage. Interdimensional. Bit. Just like the first one, they have. Oh, your... the, I didn't like the Fred Savage bit. You didn't? I liked it I mean, throughout the movie, but the payoff. It was. was I saw. I knew what the payoff was going to be as soon as it happened. Just like the first film with Farva throughout the whole movie, you're wondering what was the school bus incident. Did they ever tell you? Yeah, at the it end of the, the movie, end. they show Fuck. him going up to the school bus. It. I didn't watch it at the end of the, the fucking, other day when I watched it. He goes it. into the school bus. One kid throws something at him. He climbs into the school bus. They're all fighting. And they get put. He, they all get pushed out of the back of the school bus. And they're all fighting in the street. These yeah. are the kids. <laughs> well, I gotta power up the DVD later. Yeah. Oh man, I. Oh god. It was. I, it, was just, it was beautiful. I would you? It. What would? You, what was better, this or Death of Stalin? What'd you like better? Oh man. Well, I like Death of Stalin. Death of Stalin is an artsy movie. It's an a, artsy film. It's a way I definitely better like film. this as a mo better. Sit down and watch movie. Just hang out movie. Oh yeah, I think this is gonna be way more rewatchable in the future than, yeah. than Death of Stalin. I, I think, don't I really like Death of Stalin. Death of Stalin is is a very well made film. It's it's I mean I I think this is really well shot. I think it looks good. I think he did a good job. <laughs> but this is a sort of turn off your brain movie because it's so silly. Oh absolutely. It's all so goofy. I mean listen, if you're a fucking It's prude, so much easier to just turn on and yeah, not think about it. I mean if you're a prude, like that you're gonna hate this movie. And uh man, uh, it's just like I say, I nothing really went over the line though. It was all standard no. like American Pie style nudity yeah, I, and yeah. sexual innuendo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's mostly just goofiness and yeah, the, the, from Farva. There's plenty of male nudity oh, yeah, in this movie. <laughs> and also, uh, what's his name? He Ramathorn takes Flova Max, an estrogen <laughs> style pill. Yeah, Flova Scotia. Flova Scotia. <laughs> Flova Scotia. And the commercial for that is fucking great. <laughs> the last line is side effects, bitchiness. bitchiness. <laughs> may cause bitching and may cause bitchiness. <laughs> Wet mouth. <laughs> I always love a good, uh, a good pharmacy gag like that. Well, that commercial is hilarious. Like, this girl's, like, all horny and shit, and this guy's, this like, guy's gunning, like a gunning a deer. No, he's not gunning a deer. It looks, like, or something. it looks like a guy stabbing a man in prison, but a deer tied to a tree right. upside down. He's just staring at her. You know her. that style we would just wrap it... Pow, 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 pow. <laughs> shanking, dude. Shanking this motherfucking deer, man. And the girl is just, like, twirling her hair. And His hair horny. is covered in blood. I liked a lot of the Canada <laughs> jokes where they're sort of, like... Yeah. They sort of painted Canada I was, way worse than it probably is. I was is. a little worried at first with some of the Canada jokes because they, they're in the car and they're going, ooh, a boot, a boot, which I got flashbacks of Yoga Hosers, the Kevin Smith movie. I haven't seen it. Yeah, don't ever watch it. It, it went, there was a couple moments where it went maybe a little too much, I suppose. Yeah, there's, there's a lot there. of Canadian jokes. There was one that worked when the Canadians reversed it in the uh, brothel when he says, sorry. And they're like, whoa, that was really, sorry. I really like that. They're it really caught me off guard. Them. Like, I'm like, absolutely. This isn't as fun. Is this as funny as I'm thinking it is right now? They're all making I'm fun so of them good. because obviously Canadians say sorry. Sorry. And Americans say <laughs> sorry. 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 <laughs> and Ooh, the, you got a learning disability or something, fella? This is funny. The naked, the naked brothel's like, sorry. <laughs> There's a dude with his dick out, and Rob Lowe, like, honks it. <laughs> and he, he does a fucking, like, battering with, like, uh, like uh, for a boxer. He's, yeah, like, he's, he's like, hitting, hitting the, the fucking, uh, what do they call it? The yeah, bag, the, the heavy ba bag, whatever yeah. they call that. Yeah, it's the <laughs> the thing that they hang from them. I can't remember the name of it, but yeah. That was, that was really funny. And uh, the, the joke that he has when they're like, oh, you want a couple girls? And they have a couple girls. I'm like, no, no, sorry. And so the two guys walk up in S&M outfits. Yeah. He's like, what, you don't like girls? You don't, you don't like, like guys? guys? What, do we get a, we get a beaver for you? Get a river beaver here for you? <laughs> See, the, the dick thing where he's like honking the dick. I'm, sometimes in movies like in comedies like this, they'll just show a dick and they think that's funny. Well, he's forgetting Sarah Marshall when he's just shaking his dick. At yeah. The <laughs> This did, it was, it was funny. He humped the guy's dick. <laughs> he just pulls it down, he's like, oh. 
like he's milking him. <laughs> Just so much of this movie I've forgotten already. Yeah. God, I'm pissed. Yeah, I and Do the, you think the, the grizzly this is bear go scene. To DVD pretty quickly. What? Do you think this is gonna go to DVD pretty quickly? Uh, I mean, I really hope not. I, I really hope this doesn't leave quick. I hope people really show up. I mean, the the reality is, Avengers comes out next week, and um, obviously it's different. It's different markets, you know, because this is a comedy. But yeah, I, but it's gonna eat up a lot of absolutely. Adults. It's 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 gonna eat up a lot of money, and I just I really hope people will go out and mm -hmm. and see this because I really want these guys to get to make more movies and. You know, it, it's just so funny. Have they not made a lot of money on their previous films? Their their other movies never really lit up the box office. They've always been guys that have just had kind of cult followings. Now, I'm sure that Super Troopers did, like, huge business on DVD. Like, because when the yeah. DVD era was huge and Beer That's Fest when came and all out. those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was the thick of when DVDs were just... I mean, you could... You that could was, I do, bet, like, 80% of America... Owns a copy of Super Troopers. Oh, yeah. I mean, I never saw Super Troopers in the theater. I discovered it on DVD, you know. I as well. Uh, yeah. So Much it's... like Crouching Tiger, <laughs> Hidden Dragons. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, this is, um, <clears throat> I mean, it's just fantastic. It really is. I, I'm I... just happy to finally see a new comedy that's funny. A new dumb comedy that's funny. Yeah, I mean, for me so far, it's it's been pretty good for comedies. Uh, you know, I really loved Game Night and Death of Stalin, and this is... Blockers? <laughs> yeah, blockers. Ugh. But, um, yeah, this, this is... Oh, this man. is le, the creme de la creme. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is there anything else you could think of that you want to talk about? I oh, guess. yeah, uh, I would say uh, the girl. She was, uh, she was really good. Yeah. She was hot as fuck, too. Yeah. I was really into her. She was and, uh, very sexy. Her accent was fantastic. She immediately, she was at the end, it made sense that it turned out to be a double, double cross, <laughs> double cross, because she immediately just went right to the Foster character. Yeah, just as soon as he and she were on screen, just immediate. Yeah. It was oh, hello, it was, how are you? It was funny because I was like, oh yeah, I, I, I like you, American. Yeah, I knew Rob Lowe had to be the. The villain. Yeah, when I, saw I knew him. that. I, like, too. Rob, I was going to tell you that too. I, I forgot. Was like, Rob Lowe's got to be the villain because they they keep reiterating. It oh, was, the Mountie's got to be bad. They got to be yeah. crooked. You know? It was like an SVU episode. Whoever the most <laughs> name character is. Yeah, and uh, the girl I thought she was going to be bad, and she turns out she is bad, but then she's not. Yeah, it's, it's a red herring. Yeah, it is. Um, I thought that was a little too much. Like, all right, who cares? She it makes flip -flops sense. Seconds later, it makes sense for just the weirdness that they do. And yeah, movies. I guess so. You know, they gotta do kind of shit like that. Yeah. Where you know they, they cut to all the super troopers and then they're like, oh, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, so I mean, you did say something earlier about that there were scenes in this movie that you felt were from other movies. So what? I uh, can't fucking remember now. Like specific bits the bear in the uh, station it was like the hangover the first hangover oh with um, the tiger in the uh, hotel room there and, was uh, at least the, the then he goes into the uh, porta potty and gets knocked over that was that, in jackass that's at least been in jackass. a lot of different movies yeah. that kind of bit. but it worked it was yeah. it was no funny. i'm not saying it detracted i'm just saying yeah. it's something i noticed i'm not yeah i'm not you know saying it hurt the movie at all yeah. but it was in there you know yeah and I'm sure there was at least one more or two more I can't think of, but it's unimportant. Yeah. What um, a weird way to try to kill him on the big fucking saw thing. Oh, yeah. It, well, it, it kind of like is Canadian. Wiley Coyote like, almost kind of a thing. It felt like uh, Rocky and Bullwinkle. Yeah. And the fucking I, Mounties or whatever the fuck. Bullwinkle. I will say I was surprised that they didn't bring up the maple syrup bit from the first one because they're in Canada. God, how the, fucking gross is that, man? I was watching Shuggin? the other night and I was yeah. like, Jesus Christ, I, fuck that. I this wouldn't do so that nasty. shit, man. Yeah, that, is, that is fucking gross. I, they probably, I mean, I'd be very, I, I mean, I can't wait till this movie comes out on Blu-ray because there's going to be so many extras and deleted scenes and stuff. There was like this two is, or three commentary tracks on the DVD I was watching last night. Yeah. I, uh, I want to see if there's a better audio track. Yeah, this, uh, man, yeah, this is great. Is, uh, before final ratings, anything you want to bring up? I was, uh, nervous, nervous about the Canada stuff, French yeah. Can Canada stuff in particular. I thought it'd get annoying. 
Um, the movie keeps a great pace the whole time. You never, yeah. there's never a moment where you're like, let's get this over with. Oh yeah, it flies by. And then I was thought I was going to get annoyed with French Canadian stuff, but yeah, it's offset enough. Rob Lowe talks normal Canadian style, mm -hmm. maybe one or two others do. And, and I will say this, I, I uh, I'll be honest with you, I started getting sad when I knew it was going to end. I, I was like, oh man, yeah. I, I know it's ending. And did then there is call, another scene. Did you call the drug scheme before they brought it up? Oh, oh, you mean with all the pills and everything? Yeah. Oh, that's a great scene with the kids who are in the car. And they, oh, they yeah. have all those drugs and they put them on leashes <laughs> through the woods. Guys, dude, come on, let's get this over with. Foster, this can make for a selfie moment. <laughs> The kids are just fucking freaking the fuck out. They're just on drug. They're on amphetamines, <laughs> and they're on. Uh, it's like, show me where the drugs are, kid. They got them on ropes taser. like horses. And then when Whoa. they get to the spot, yeah. they tie them up. Whoa, fellas! Whoa, guys! <laughs> yeah, and tie them like, up. It's like if you go to like a fair or anything, and you see that these parents that have leashes for their kids. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not ropes, but still. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was great. Yeah, um, yeah. So. Uh, where are you falling on this one? Where are, you, where are you going? Honestly, I'm trying to think of more jokes. There was something... Um, there's so many. They hit you with them fucking nonstop. Yeah, it's constant. There's no needless emotional. It's just like the first one. There's yeah. there's stuff th that they talk about that's it's not like funny, that's to integral skit, to the know? plot. But yeah. for the most part, it's just that. Just yeah. jokes to jokes yeah. to jokes. And there's setup and payoff for it all. and It's, it's yeah. really... It's nice. Yeah, it's, I'm surprised. The last time I went to the theater and really went nuts for a comedy like this, like really laughed like crazy, was the first Hangover. Really? Where yeah. it's like you laugh basically <clears throat> the whole time. Yeah. But saying that, yeah, where are you falling? I don't want to. I don't want to go nuts. I yeah, because crazy. Yeah, because it, it's really tough. Because it is super silly. It's. It's a great I comedy it. that I haven't oh, seen in a while. I just, I loved it so much. It, uh, gets a seven. Mm. Rudy Land wow. gives it a seven. How about you, Rad Ferver? <laughs> I wish I remembered the name of Sean. It was Lemmy something. Yeah, Lemmy Lemmy. Yeah, um, I I really really love this, and I have to fight. It's myself. tough to go eight, but I want to go I, seven I, because I ultimately. It's really funny, it's really great, but overall, how many, like, super really funny comedies would I put, like, I don't know, as an eight or a nine, you know what I mean? Uh, well, I mean, I, I, I mean, listen, I absolutely loved it, and as soon as it was over, I was just like, I want to buy this, I want to see it again, I want to revisit it, you know, just like the first one. Yeah, I want to buy and, it. I want to uh, get, do they have a Blu-ray for the first one yet? Yeah, yeah, there's a Blu-ray for the first one. Hopefully and, they uh, do a double pack or something. Yeah, and so I, I mean, I can't give this anything lower. This, this is an eight. Like this is fantastic. Like it's just great comedy, and you know, I, I want to give it higher than an eight. How good does it feel <laughs> to laugh at a silly comedy? Oh, it's just it's it's so good. It feels fantastic. You know, it's just so enjoyable. For the last like ten, fifteen years, a silly comedy, a shitty, a stupid comedy is an Adam Sandler movie. Yeah. And or that's some no good. Bargain bas basement Judd Cock blockers. Movie. Yeah. Like, th th I mean, this movie curb stomps the shit out of that movie. Yeah. You know, it's just. People are going to remember this. Oh, absolutely. This is. <laughs> I sound like a, like a fucking <laughs> rampage shooter. People are going to remember this. Like, this is. We're going to be remembered. This is honestly, when you look at sequels, because most of the time, sequels, especially after this much time, uh -huh. they're talking over 15 years here. But people, people this still is... talk about Pot Fest. People still beer fest. Want... You mean no? The, yeah, but you remember at the end it said pot fest yeah. coming whenever. That's... I know. I wish. I wish they would actually do a sequel. I don't know how they do it, but yeah. Um, yeah, this is. Uh, it's it's just fantastic, and I think it's just it's an um, unbelievable sequel. It's just a perfect <coughs> sequel. The way Mine's they went a lot of Ghostbusters it. too. Yeah, I like. I loved Ghostbusters. I, I really enjoyed I like Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters two too. more than one. I'm one yeah. of those people. I always have. And maybe I it's because really I was really young. Uh, there's a lot of people that think two is just way more of a kids movie, and I I love two. But I feel, um, I, do, I thought people hated it because they thought it was like just the same movie again. 
which is Maybe. fine with me because I loved Ghostbusters the first. Uh, yeah. So I'd love Ghostbusters too. Yeah, this is, it's just, <clears throat> I think it's fantastic. Obviously, if you hated the first movie, you're going to fucking hate this one. Yeah. It's not going to change. If you're not into Broken Lizard, you're not going to like it. But Like I said, I was worried it might be for a moment. It was going to, when I first came in, I shouldn't say a moment. Yeah. When I first came in, I thought it was going to be like The Hangover 2 where it yeah. could be just dark and not funny just because they thought that'd be funny to do. I love I love the fact that they didn't try to chase after trends right now in comedy cuz they were um not trends in comedy but they were um they were, they were topical. They were topical with yeah. a lot of <laughs> the lot make of America stuff. great again stuff and the immigration stuff. I love the fact that they kept bringing up the bits about how people you know think that uh <laughs> Jay Chan Whatever his last name is, is like Mexican. <laughs> like he's oh, I like guys, that it kept, it kept, it was a lie. One of the guys at the, the meeting is like, what are you going to try to do? Make a seat, make a seat tacos. tacos. <laughs> make a seat tacos. What are these? Or, or Tostitos or, or, um, what are, what are the, um, uh, you know, the tortilla, tortilla chips. That's what he's, what are you going to try to make a seat tortilla <laughs> chips, buddy? <laughs> That was a great scene. What was the name of the cereal that they ate? The Canadians bear, ate a weird cereal. It was like Barrios or something like that. Yeah, yeah, there, yeah she kept talking about talking the bear. About, There's bears everywhere. There's bears. It's Canada. There yeah. are bears everywhere. It's my garbage, even in the morning. Was that actress cereal. really French? Have you ever seen her in anything? I've seen her before, and I don't think she's French. Okay. Because she, she did great. a really good French accent. She was fantastic. And, uh, um, <laughs> yeah, there's just... Th there is one thing. You do not see the logo. You did not see Johnny Chimpo, which I was bummed Yeah, by. I guess. Which is, that's always been the but logo I mean, it on was movies. A, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, so I like that they had a production logo. Yeah. It would have been nice to see Johnny Chimpo, but you don't see him. Is it a real Afghanimation thing? <laughs> I don't think so, but okay. maybe it is. Um, but, yeah. You also don't see his wife and kid from the first movie, his hippie yeah. girlfriend. And his son, which would have been kind of nice to see what his son grow up to or something. Those, was that his real son and girlfriend? Uh, I don't know. Might have been, but uh, that would have been kind of nice to see uh, to see them. Yeah. But, um, uh, it, it, I, didn't, I thought about it for a second, then I didn't really think about it yeah. again. It was The movie kept me entertained and occupied well enough. Yeah. Beeping aside, the robots are taking over. Anything else you'd like to say before our skulls are crushed? I mean, your skull is crushed. No. <laughs> Rudy Land is half cyborg. We come for you tonight. Beep. Well, I thought that went pretty well.